land and their traditions are under threat from loggers. But in a remarkable experiment, they've embraced space-age technology to try and save their forests. Our correspondent, Fergal Keane, has travelled deep into the rainforests of Cameroon to spend a whole week living with the pygmy people in the village of Nagola Baka. This is a story about the meaning of home. And in the cool of the forest, we were lucky to witness an ancient rite of belonging. The Baka are marking a newborn with forest earth. This is your forest, she is told. The women will teach her the ways of the forest. They fish in the creek. The food will be shared among the whole community. The catch is small, but many hands are working together. What you really get a sense of here is the people at one with their environment. But of course we know that across the world, hunter-gatherer groups like this face massive problems as the forests they live in are under constant assault. But here in this particular forest, something unique is happening to try and change that. For here in the forest, a British anthropologist is working with the Baka pygmies, helping them to save their trees. These hunter-gatherers are at the forefront of a quiet technical revolution, straight from the world of the spear to the computer. This is a sacred tree to the Baka. Now they can send its exact location to an international database by pressing the symbol of a tree on their computer. By marking this on the machine, we now have a permanent record that this tree exists in their territory. And if someone comes to remove it without any permission from them, then we're able to have the evidence to prove that this has happened. The computers developed by the British company Helvata now mean the Baka can hold loggers and officials to account if they break the law. This is community forest, but big logging companies are encroaching. And we also saw trees devastated by smaller operators who've bought the right to log here. The Baka agree with sustainable logging, but not this. It pains my heart to see the trees are being cut down, says Alamba, because this one is an important medicine, and it also takes away our misfortune. We hiked back to witness what must be one of the stranger rituals ever seen in a pygmy village, the download. Cameroonian campaigners have come to download the data. It's emailed to Britain, turned into a map, and sent straight back to the community. The printer is powered by a car battery. The Baka now have a map to prove that this is their home. At night, an older Africa asserts itself. And then the children dance. Too often the story of the forest is a narrative of despair. But not here, not at all. Fergal Keen reporting there. Well, the Forest People's Project is the organization actually supplying the GPS technology. And there, John Nelson is with, with Fergal in the rainforest. I spoke to him just a short time ago. So, John, these tracking devices are very impressive, but how can you make sure that the logging companies actually respect the information that is downloaded? Well, it's up to the logging company to decide if they want to move their standards up or not. I mean, our experience is that uh, the communities, when they're documenting their land use, they're doing it truthfully. Um, and it is up to the logging company to decide to take that up. There are standards that they can seek to uh, achieve, uh, and that will help them market timber in Europe and other North American countries. So essentially, you're using digital technology in order to shame the logging companies into compliance. We're using the, the digital technology to support communities. If you look at the zoning map for Cameroon, forests is a mosaic of logging concessions and conservation areas. And communities are, in fact, invisible on that map. So we're supporting communities through this digital technology, is supporting them to document themselves and put themselves on the map. 
John, do you expect this kind of digital technology to become more widespread in the jungle? Well, I absolutely do, absolutely do believe that because uh, the take up by communities is very high. They love technology and it empowers them to document their, their land for themselves and their land use. In the past, it's required a quite a lot of effort by outside organizations to actually manipulating the technology, generating the data and producing the maps. Whereas this technology enables communities to do it for themselves. And literacy rates amongst uh, Baca community in particular are very low. Um, and this has always prevented them from actually documenting themselves. John Nelson, thank you very much for joining us okay. from the heart of the Cameroon jungle. Thank you very much. Still to come here on BBC. Effort to bring